If you made the upgrade to Photoshop CS version 8, I'm sure you've started working with non-square pixels. If you're brand new to Photoshop CS2, be sure to use non-square pixels in your designs. Now, non-square pixels allow us to design video graphics using the same pixel shape inside of Photoshop that our television sets need. Keep in mind that most video formats use a non-square pixel, and it will depend on if you're shooting standard or widescreen aspect ratio, or which country or format you're shooting for. For example, when we choose the file new, you'll see that we have several new choices. You can choose from NTSC DV or D1, PAL, high def video, and each of these have their own pixel aspect ratio, such as widescreen for NTSC. If we check the pixel aspect ratio, we discover that the NTSC widescreen uses a 1.2 pixel aspect ratio. Now, this is thoroughly covered on our other disks. I just wanted you to be aware that this was an option. However, one thing was missing. That was our ability to see our Photoshop graphics on a video monitor. Photoshop CS2 gives us that ability. All you need to do is choose File, Export, Video Preview. When you choose this, a dialog box comes up and you have the ability to export out over FireWire. If you have a FireWire device hooked up, such as a camera, a deck, or just a DV converter, you have the ability now to send a picture from Photoshop to your NTSC monitor. Ideally, you would still test your graphic on a scope and in a professional editing situation. Sending your graphic out over FireWire is not the perfect solution. However, it will allow you to see the graphic on a television monitor. DV adds a little bit of compression, but hey, so does VHS and so does broadcast. So by sending our graphics out from Photoshop to the NTSC monitor, we can spot problems in color, flicker, luminance levels right away. This is a great addition. Previously, you had to buy third-party products to get this. Now, it comes built in with Adobe Photoshop CS2.